Unajua yeye ni mtu wangu lazima nikwambie ukweli. <laughs> Watu wengi wako kwa serikali, wengine magavana, wengine heads of department, wengine wamekaa huku, wengine wamekaa na wewe hapa. <laughs> Makaratasi yao iko tosari. So you will have to make a decision. Wonders will never cease in this country. I want you to listen into this speech of DP Rigathi Gashagwa hinting that there are some leaders in these countries who have no academic papers whatsoever. And the very first group he touches on is the group of governors. And the governor that is seated behind him is Governor Sakaja. And he even goes on to say that some of those people without papers are seated behind me, Your Excellency. Just listen into this tip. Your Excellency, I cannot sit here and purport to give you advice, lakini this issue of fake certificates, I think it's a quick win for us. I think it's a quick win, Your Excellency. If we make a decision to get rid of all the fellows and characters with fake certificates, probably we could knock 10,000 people from the wage bill and recover a billion or two. But your excellency hiyo kibarua ni ngumu sijui utaanzia wapi kwa sababu sioni mtu mwingine akiwezana naye it requires a decision at your level and i don't know who will help you because unajua yeye ni mtu wangu lazima nikwambie ukweli watu wengi wako kwa serikali wengine magavana wengine heads of department wengine wamekaa huku wengine wamekaa na wewe hapa <laughs> makaratasi yao iko tosari so you will have to make a decision <laughs> na sijui nani atakusaidia maybe musalia ataweza because nilimuona ADD pale akisoma hata mimi nilikuwa pale for me, I have no doubt in my mind whatsoever that DP Rigadi Gashagwa was talking about Governor Sakaja because if you look at the last presidential, not even presidential, if you look at the last campaign period of 2022, we had only two governors who had issues with IBC. The first one was Wavinya Ndeti, the second one was Governor Sakaja. Now, in this particular fora, Wavinya Ndeti was not present, Governor Sakaja was, in fact, he was on the podium. So I have no doubt in my mind that the DP was referring to Governor Sakaja when he said that some of them are seated here behind us on stage. And that goes to show that Rigadi does not like Sakaja at all. I've said this time and time again, Sakaja is a Ruto person, not necessarily a DP Rigadi Gashagwa person. Even in Nyeri, there was a funeral service there and the first thing that DP Rigadi Gashagwa did when he took to stage was to remind Sakaja to always consult. Anything he wants to do in Nairobi, he should call the people of Mlima Kenya and consult with them. So you can see that there is a bit of friction between the two groups, the Rigadi Gashagwa group and the Sakaja group group now like i said earlier what's the cause of this uh friction it all emanates from lack of consulting dp rigadi wants to be consulted in affairs of the capital and sakaja is not willing to consult anybody or at the very least that's how the deputy president puts it now still on that note the deputy president said that he is not in a position or rather he he, he doesn't want to be the one to deal with the leaders who are having fraudulent academic papers and there's a reason why he doesn't want to be the one to deal with it and he was even offering muslim udavadi to take up that role the reason is, if you intend to vie in future, you cannot be the one killing people's political careers. Those same people have supporters. However much you like or don't like Sakaja, he has his supporters. However much somebody likes or doesn't like Wavinya Ndeti or Oscar Sudi or whoever, they all have their supporters. You can't be taking them down and then thinking you can be a presidential candidate and go on to clinch the seat. It doesn't work like that. So Rigadi is being smart and uh, he put it very clearly to the president that that is not a role he would like to take up. But at the end of the day, he's not fooling anyone. We know he was talking about Governor Sakaja. And Sakaja knew it too. That is why throughout the entire video, his head was facing down. 
the moment he had that issue of academia he looked down because he knew the cameras are on him they're looking to see his reaction and he, he decided it's better if he just looks down in fact just check out this step one more time unajua yani mtu wangu lazima nikwambie ukweli watu wengi wako kwa serikali wengine magavana wengine heads of department wengine wamekaa huku wengine wamekaa na wewe hapa makaratasi yao iko dosari so you will have to make a decision and you know people usually say if you do a crime do it alone you might succeed if you ever do it with somebody it won't work out well for you in the case of sakaja at one point he was saying he studied in university of nairobi mara it is one unit which he didn't finish the next thing we know he studied in teams university in uganda how they arrived at that particular teams university he and a select people in kenya kwanza know and if those people turn on you it's it's very bad that's why i always say mpango yoyote unafanya peke yako that is the only way to keep away from uh, any form of blowback because now what we are looking at is blowback the dp is obviously bothered with sakaja and is throwing jibes at him how long before the deputy president's entourage follows suit and most of the ones with the know the ones who know what happened precisely and when and how they have all the receipts that could be crazy guys but either way that's all i had for you today guys do let me know your own comments in the comment section below i'll do my best to read them and to give you a response and in the event you're here for the first time please go on and hit the subscribe button and if you're watching from a different platform just head on over to youtube search for david ofula hit the subscribe button you're going to be getting a ton of content of this nature if politics is something you're passionate about this is definitely the one channel that you really really need to subscribe subscribe to All right guys adios Thank you for choosing David Wafula as your primary news platform. We put countless hours in research, recording, and editing. By showing up each and every day to watch our videos, you encourage us to generate more videos for the viewers. We are on a mission to inform, educate, and build a better tomorrow. To our thousands of followers in a world full of presidents, kings, and queens, you are the real gem. Adios.